blessed Gregory raised upon the throne of Peter, sought always the beauty of the Lord, and lived in celebration of that love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And your dear spirit. As our opening antiphon uh, indicates, today is the memorial of uh, Pope St. Gregory the Great, one of the four uh, great Latin doctors and teachers of the church. We know his name from Gregorian chant. He is a patron saint of, of music, but was involved in a number of different kinds of reform and sound teaching in the church and keeping the church focused on what it needed to be doing. So we ask for his intercession as we join together in prayer this morning and take a moment to ask God forgiveness for our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who cares for your people with gentleness and rules them in love, through the intercession of Pope St. Gregory, endow, we pray, with a spirit of wisdom, those to whom you have given authority to govern, that the flourishing of a holy flock may become the eternal joy of the shepherds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading, <clears throat> a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, let no one deceive himself. If any one of you considers himself wise in this age, let him become a fool so as to become wise. For the wisdom of this, of this world is foolishness in the eyes of God. For it is written... God catches the wise in their own ruses. And again, the Lord who knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. So let no one boast about human beings before everything belongs to you, Paul or Paulus or Cephas, or the world or life or death or the present or the future. All belong to you, and you to Christ, and Christ to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. The Lord's are the earth and all its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon rivers. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. To the Lord belongs the earth and all it fills it. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. Come after me, says the Lord, and I will make you fishers of men. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Gennesaret. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing. But at your command, I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled both boats so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish they had made seized him and all those with him, and likewise James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. When we express to Jesus in recognizing God's glory that is found in our salvation and in the way our salvation has come about, the overwhelming sense of how unworthy we are, and lead us to say or to feel as Peter did, depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful person. I am a sinner. I am not worthy of this. I'm ashamed of how I've lived, I'm ashamed of the things that I've done. And I picture the response to that, not only of Jesus not leaving and walking away from us, but the response of uh, Paul in this first letter to the Claritians, I'm a Claritian, (laughs) in the first letter to the Corinthians, saying um, that all belongs to us, and we belong to Christ, and Christ belongs to God. So no matter how unworthy or ashamed we feel of things that we've done or failed to do, sins we've committed, um, Christ looks at us and says, it all belongs to you because you belong to me, and I belong to God, and now come follow me. And the catch of fish, the abundance that that's found not because we're worthy, intelligent, good, successful, better than everybody else, but precisely because we are none of those things and we recognize that and surrender it to Christ and then we belong to him and then beautiful things happen. followers of the Lord, let us join together to present our needs to the Father who loves us. For our holy church, may the Lord protect her from all evil and sanctify her for his glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those in public, corporate, and civic leadership, may the Lord guard their hearts and minds in the ways of charity and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Let our hearts and our lives belong to the Lord, that there may be peace, that there may be justice in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here today through the intercession of St. Gregory the Great, may we continue to grow in holiness and virtue. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, may they eternally rejoice in his presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we offer up our own petitions and prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers we have offered in love and with trust in your care for your children. We ask this in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant our supplication, we pray, O Lord, that the sacrifice we present in celebration of St. Gregory may be for our good, since through its offering you have loosed the offenses of all the world, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the <clears throat> festival of St. Gregory you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, <clears throat> God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Gregory the Great, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, <clears> have <throat> mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, commonly, spiritually into my heart, I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Through Christ, the teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ, the living bread, that on the feast day of St. Gregory, they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity. Through Christ our Lord. As we've been asking this week, as we're uh, deciding whether to have masses in our courtyard that would not be live streamed or continue to have masses here in the chapel without people present physically, um, but be able to live stream it. Of the comments I've read, there's not a huge overwhelming response of those who have responded. It seems that they prefer at this time live streaming masses. So uh, you are welcome to comment in your chat box on your Facebook live stream there and we'll, we'll review those. And I suppose since tomorrow is Friday, we'll have to say tomorrow which of those we're gonna do for next week. And then we can continue to, to uh, you know, in, elicit your input in making ongoing and continuing decisions. Nothing is, is set forever. And also, as always, please continue to refer to our website for various activities and you're welcome to join on Saturday evenings now at five o'clock on our YouTube channel for a live streamed rosary that myself or Deacon John, Father, Father uh, Byron, someone will be leading on various themes. So hope to uh, have you be able to participate in some of our activities that way. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.